here coming at you guys with another tutorial. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a quick one just because I know a lot of people have been asking me how the hell I do this. And it is not uh, too crazy uh, hard. I'm just getting my document set up. Of course, you guys can um, set up however, any size you guys want. Um, basically, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you guys how to use or do a similar um, effect on the text. As you guys can see, um, right here, it almost looks like it's a, uh, you know, a geometrical type 3D looking text. Um, it has these little cutaways, which are basically just, essentially, it's shading. Um, I usually do it in Illustrator. I will say that um, that is the recommended way. Uh, but due to the fact that um, it, this for learning purposes, I will be showing you guys how to do this in Photoshop. Um, I do want to stress that this will work with anything you do, um, re regardless to what it is. Um, probably the easiest thing for you to do is just use it on a logo. But right now, since I don't have a logo to work with, I'm just going to get a simple... Um, I'm going to take a simple font and I'm just going to show you guys basically how to do this. So sit back, uh, just watch, and uh, try to follow along. And you know, if you guys have questions, of course, um, leave the comments section below, of course. And uh, I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I usually get back to you guys pretty quick. But we're going to focus right now on a type of, I guess, font of what we're going to do here. Um, so uh, we're going to, I'm going to use this font real quick. It's uh, you can find these on the font. It's called Critical Mass. It's nothing special. Uh, but right now, you know, what you're going to want to, you know, roughly do is you're going to want to make this a pretty big size. So right now we're in this 1920 by uh, 1080 uh, type. And we're also, you know, just because we're going to make this look like a logo, it is going to be rasterized layer. Nothing else I can do here over with. Uh, of course, the color of this is an off-white. I don't use... Um, anything I don't use regular white unless I'm using shading so uh, in order for you guys to start this is the first thing and this always helps me just because it need you know I need to see things to understand them is the best thing for you guys to do is go into your effects layer um, your FX uh, for your layer styles and you're gonna want to go to your bevel and boss you're gonna want to take the size up of course untick global light and move it to 90 uh, we're going to take the depth all the way to a thousand, and we're going to move the uh, size up to where you get this straight line, and everything kind of looks very even. And what we're going to do to make it even better is chisel hard. Um, what chisel hard does is it makes it perfect lines, you know, as as best as you possibly can. And already, you guys can. I mean, if you really want to do it the easy way, you can just move the opacity completely down to about. 15 and look you kind of got the same effect but of course <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys how to do a better effect on a, uh, you know a lot more advanced uh, tutorial so of course you're just going to hit OK and I usually just add a drop shadow uh, just uh, for of course a reference because this is the same color as the background I usually just keep it on 15 and you know I keep it pretty good and that's about it so after that we're just this is all using um, layer um, clipping masks that's really it so you're gonna just keep making clipping masks okay now what I usually do is, is as you guys can see this is going to start into a nice white line and you're gonna wanna basically pen tool what you guys see on your bevel and emboss so here we're gonna start here we're gonna hit eh, we'll go about Try to get into the middle of this, you know, thick line. And from there, we're going to go up here. And we're going to see if that's about right. Uh, no. And of course, guys, this can be differentiated from the bevel. It just really kind of depends. And it's just kind of a guidelines, like I said. And you're going to close the path, and we're going to make a white. Now, this is going to be a little bit of our highlight. So, of course, you guys are going to tell the difference. It's going to be a highlight. <laughs> Um, and we're going to do the highlights first. So all the really, really bright areas we are going to do uh, first thing, and then we will move from there. And you know, uh, we're going to keep creating new layers below. 
I'm trying to figure out. So we're going to make this about middle. And we'll do probably like that. And what this does, oh, I, I think this is actually, yep, all right, I'm so sorry. Uh, sometimes I get carried away, but uh, right now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go here. And basically you're making geometrical shapes, and you're going to want to make your highlights. So this is basically the uh, part where you're just going to highlight a bunch of it. And you're just going to keep making paths with uh, clipping masks, and that's really about it. Uh, for all your highlights. So, for instance, this part, we're going to come right here. So we're going to kind of go here. And we're going to try to bring this like that. And that should be good for our highlights. So that's basically where we are for our highlights. Of course, you guys can already see that kind of starts to give it that dimensional uh, figure. Um, after that, we're going to start doing the dark parts of everything. Um, now the darks, you're, you're going to want to keep, you know, relatively not too dark, but right here, what I like to do is I like to keep a nice open shape here. So I'm going to keep this color of it, and we're just going to follow the path right here and we're gonna make a nice dark color here so not too dark of course guys don't go crazy I mean what I mean when I say dark I mean you know uh, relatively darker than your actual background layer so don't like say hey let's just make it black I mean yeah that'll work and yeah I may uh, and sorry I'm just fixing something here you are, are going to have to do this if you don't do this in Illustrator you're just gonna fix certain things um, and that is gonna be a, a big pain sometimes but uh, you know it's it's honestly it's worth it but for what you end up getting out of this it looks it's it's definitely worth it for this uh, I usually make this a lot darker just because it is in a curl. So we're going to start there and make it a little bit darker than that. And it's basically, as you guys can see, just uh, finding dark positions and, you know, making them, making them pop. Uh, we're going to make this. And we're just going to make this the same color as this. And then this. Same color. Oh, I'm so sorry. I almost made another, didn't make another layer. And basically, guys, for a, if, if you do learn, if you have taken drawing classes or anything, just in general that you have taken, uh, they will teach you the number one thing about uh, art in, in uh, lights and darks is that uh, shadows are always uh, accented or uh, popped out with lights. So for instance, every time there's a shadow, there will be a little bit of light. So as you guys can see, this is already what we have going up. Perfect. That is exactly what I want, and that is exactly what's going to happen. Is you guys can see that it's a beautiful, nice shape, and that is exactly what we are going for. Um, I'm actually going to just because I think you guys get the gist of this. Um, I'm going to just show you guys a little bit more. And so for this, very simple. Here, I'm going to make this a nice white. So. Cancel, bevel, and another really, really good trick that I didn't show you guys is make make yourself color swatches. They will save your life. Um, I I didn't do it, and I'm kind of being stupid with it, but you know, I uh, trying to get you guys to learn this. So you know, of course, I want to make sure that you guys get down what you guys need to learn. So, and of course, oh, I am I am so slow. I gotta go this way, and basically this is what we're gonna do. Oh, I am 
What am I doing? Okay, that's why. I'm sorry. I I always tend to uh, do the same layer over and over. It's a pain. Um, but that's why you know I do recommend going into uh, Illustrator with this. Um, I'm gonna go here. And this is just another another dark. I mean, it's just you know you do your lights first, and your darks last, and this is the exact thing that we're gonna end up ending up with. I'm so sorry. There's another piece right here that I. Sorry guys, I'm messing up right now. Not good. <laughs> no, uh, you guys, it 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 will take you a few, you know, to really get the hang of, of what you're doing. we're going to do this part is going to be all right and we're going to actually finish this up All right, and this part will be just you know a medium dark, so probably something like this. And there you go. That is the basic part of it. And what I usually do is is I merge all these, and because I don't want them to be as defined as that, I usually just move the opacity down to about uh, 35. But once you guys get the hang of it in Photoshop, kind of really seeing what you're doing, and I'm telling you, use Bevel and Emboss to be your you know. Your key, of course, you're not gonna. You don't want to say it with it, but after that, move the opacity down. And you guys are good. Um, I do really want to thank you guys all for 45,000 subscribers. I mean, that's unbelievable. But and uh, the amazing stuff that I'm almost at 20,000 followers on Twitter, so that's awesome. Um, and my self eye and all that stuff really do need some things that I'd really like to upload on there. So if you guys are very interested in, you know, or if you know have any insight, please let me know. I'd really love to know what I can put up there for you guys. Um, for packs, of course, I don't like to sell them for you know expensive money. I, I do them cheap because you know um, they're really not hard to make. So when I give them to you guys for pretty cheap. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much, and also um, you know. <laughs> It's just amazing to see that you guys have been here for so long, so it uh, really means a lot. So anyways, please like the shit out of this video if it helped you, and I am rated, guys. Enjoy. Hey, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the last part of this tutorial. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like the shit out of this video, of course. Anyways, just wanted to say a few things. Um... This is my selfie page. Um, it is a little page that I'm going to be putting out a lot of packs. Um, they're just going to be very cheap, ten dollars. If you tweet out the link, it's I think I gave you about twenty-five or thirty percent off. So uh, there's one that is just a layer style pack that has all my different types of layer styles, and then the volume two has twelve unique ones that are also you know color changeable, pattern changeable, and has a million stuff that you can do with them. So go buy them. Link will be on the screen. Check them out, and of course, enjoy, guys. Thank you.